Hey guys, I am back and I uh, wanted to give you a little update about coronavirus. I just finished um, doing an interview on Sirius XM Radio channel 127 about uh, coronavirus. And uh, in my research to just check on the updates, um, I decided to look closer into Lysol. I don't know if you guys know or have seen this on social media, but um, I was really interested when I saw a post or at least articles about people posting that on the back of their Lysol um, can or container, or whatever, they saw that coronavirus can in fact be treated by Lysol. Let's see if I can zoom this in close. Okay, is this working? I don't know. Is that working? Maybe not. Okay, wh whatever. I'll. <laughs> I'll post a picture in the comments. Um, but okay, so this is the thing. Uh, I had to go see for myself. And I went to like unreleased my kitchen in my bathroom and I grabbed some Lysol. And I wanted to see is, is human coronavirus listed as something that Lysol will in fact um, get rid of. And lo and behold, um, it says, by the way, there's a ton of viruses here, right? It lists um, E. coli, it lists Coxsackie virus, it lists rhinovirus, it lists... Um, uh, I need my glasses. Hold on. Hold on. Um, it lists salmonella, all sorts of things, but it also, wait, where'd it go? Hold on. Hold on. It also says that it does human coronavirus. There it is. Human coronavirus. It says it does. So I was like, Ah, very interesting. So I did a little online research and, and and let me just back up first, okay? One of the reasons why I wanted to talk to you guys about this is because with the emergence of this novel coronavirus, and when I say novel, what I'm saying is that it's a brand new type of coronavirus that we have not seen before. It's one of the reasons why we just don't know a lot, that every day that we learn something, it's a big deal in the news. That, of course, and the number of cases that are throughout the world and the number of deaths that we're seeing, et cetera, okay? But let me be very clear, coronavirus is not new as an entity. Um, if you guys have watched some of my other TV segments, you'd probably hear me explain, coronavirus is actually a family of viruses. It's almost like your surname, your last name. My last name is Caudill. Well, there's a whole bunch of Caudills um, that are my peeps, right? Um, there's not just one Caudill. There's Jen Caudill, there's Hen Caudill, my brother, Esther Caudill, Henry Caudill, my parents. Are, so there's lots of Caudills. So that's what coronavirus is like. Coronavirus is like the surname, it's the family name. And there's many different types of viruses within that family. So as an example, SARS was a coronavirus and MERS is a coronavirus, right? But they're not the same as this new one. They're just uh, different family members. So that's a little background. Okay, where was I going with this? Um, ah, so um, that's what coronavirus is, is it's a family. So what I want to do was to kind of understand how people were taking it when they saw that in the back of the Lysol can, it said human coronavirus could be fought. And if you Google this on social media, you'll see that a lot of people went online saying, see, coronavirus is not new. It's been here all along. See, it's on the back of the Lysol can. Well, the truth is coronavirus has been here all the time. Um, but this new strain that we keep talking about in the news, that is new. That's a new strain. It's a new family member that's just come up. And we don't know much about that strain. Okay, now I'm going to get to whether Lysol is going to get rid of this new coronavirus that we're talking about. But let me also tell you why I wanted to do this segment tonight on this, it's because with the advent of the coronavirus, there's a lot of hoaxes that are happening. You guys have probably seen it. There have been people popping up on social media. I've seen it on YouTube saying that um, eating ginger will get rid of uh, the novel coronavirus, um, peppermint, uh, olive oil, garlic, um, other things, do this, don't do this, eat this, drink this, take this, use this, wipe this, wash this. People saying, they're saying a lot of things um, in terms of this novel coronavirus and if it fixes it. Guys, those are hoaxes. Uh-uh, doesn't work like that. Wrong, okay? So, um, so I want you to keep that in mind. Please do not believe everything you read or hear because it's just not always the case usually is not. Well, often is not. All right, let's go back to Lysol, okay? So you say, well, why then on the back of Lysol 
does it say human coronavirus is treated or killed along with all the other viruses they have listed. And it's all these guys. It's a ton of viruses. By the way, kudos to Lysol for listing all the viruses. I actually had no idea that all these viruses were listed on the back here like this. And it's pretty awesome. So I went and dug around a little bit and also found some official statements from the makers of these types of products. And I'm looking to see, like I saw an official statement by one company. Hold on. Hold on. Um, so I can't see if it's this way. Anyway, I, I digress. Some of the official statements I've seen, not only by the CDC, but makers of products like this, is what they've been saying is, okay, we hear you. Yes, it says human coronavirus. But um, what they're saying is that the product has been tested on other coronaviruses that we have known about and been shown to be effective against them. We don't, however, know entirely if this product is going to be effective against the novel coronavirus because samples have not been made available to companies to start testing these products against it. So yes, it says coronavirus because it's, there's plenty of coronaviruses running out there, or running around out there. And the coronaviruses that these products were tested against, um, they have you know, eliminated them, treated them, et cetera. We just don't know about the novel coronavirus, also called, called COVID-19, that's the name. So um, don't be alarmed when you see coronavirus on here, but it's not referring to necessarily to this new virus. We simply need more information. And when the virus becomes available to have testing, um, we'll know more if these products protect against it as well. It's possible that it may. Um, we just don't know that yet. So uh, just a word to the wise, guys, you know, just be on the lookout for scams. This is not a scam, right? So this is true. When it says coronavirus, it's true. It's just not the coronavirus that we're seeing in the community. But in terms of other products and stuff like that, other scams, and this will cure this and this will cure that, I always say this, if it sounds too good to be true, um, it, it very well might be. So make sure that you stay safe. Um, I will keep you updated with as many coronavirus updates as I can. You know, I'm doing a lot of news segments lately about this. So um, so hang out there. That didn't make sense. Hang in, hang in there with me. Keep hanging out there with me. I don't know. Whatever. Um, but thank you guys for listening. And uh, yeah, check out your Lysol containers. Um, it's really interesting. All right. Talk to you soon, guys.